shocking news for Prince Andrew. This is a nightmare for Prince Andrew. Ghislaine Maxwell verdict could spell big trouble for Prince I cannot sweat Andrew. This is really, really big, big trouble for Prince Andrew. Now, Virginia Roberts lawyers welcome Maxwell's conviction while sources close to Andrew say it shouldn't affect the prospects of Andrew's case at all. I mean, despite every single thing that is currently happening, Prince Andrew right now, if he really says that he does not sweat, clearly right now, Prince Andrew is drenching in sweat after the latest verdict, guilty verdict on his best, best friend, Ghislaine Maxwell. Now, the stunning guilty verdict against Ghislaine Maxwell Wednesday bodes ill for her good friend Prince Andrew's chances of beating the rap in the case being brought against him by Jeffrey Epstein victim Virginia Roberts. Now, people close to Virginia's camp have said this. They are happy about the guilty verdict of Ghislaine Maxwell. Now, Ghislaine Maxwell was found guilty on five out of six counts, meaning she could spend years and years in prison. Now, my name is Brian, and welcome back to Sussex Squad Family TV. Thank you so much for liking, subscribing, and supporting our ever-growing family on YouTube. Now, people close to Prince Andrew, however insist that the crashing verdict which will likely see Maxwell jailed for decades and decades shouldn't affect the prospects of Andrew's case at all. Well, there is Prince Andrew running to mommy for help. Right now, Prince Andrew must be running to mommy dearest for help. The head of state of Australia and most Commonwealth countries and Canada. This this is shocking, shocking news. I mean, Ghislaine Maxwell found guilty. And Prince Andrew right now, if he really doesn't sweat, today you can be sure about one thing. He is sweating. The doors are closing in. Somebody call pest control because pedophiles are being caught left and right. Or should I say alleged pedophile. But as for Virginia, as for Virginia, I hope she gets her justice for what happened to her. And Ghislaine Maxwell, justice is served with the guilty verdict against her. Now, reinforcing claims made previously about Andrew feeling optimistic ahead of a motion to dismiss the case, which will be heard next week. One so said the motion, Andrew has great arguments and likes his chances now prince andrew wants the case against him by virginia dismissed based on the fact of jurisdiction prince andrew says that the united states courts federal courts have no jurisdiction whatsoever to hear the case anything prince andrew basically is saying everything but I don't know Virginia. Remember in the interview you said that the photo that you see in front of you was doctored. But why not keep up saying the same thing that he said in the interview with BBC? Why, why can't he just keep up the same arguments? I have never met Virginia. Why can't he just say that? It shows to us that Prince Andrew was lying. And even right now. Even right now, Prince Andrew continues to lie, lie and lie. He wants the case dismissed based on jurisdiction, not because he didn't do anything based on jurisdiction. That's his legal argument of getting the case thrown out of U.S. courts. Now, someone close to Virginia said this issued a statement saying this verdict obviously makes his case 
Prince Andrew's case a lot more difficult. His argument is essentially the same as Maxwell's, that these young women made it all up for money and they were all just friends and there wasn't any sex trafficking and the girls who are making these claims are liars and gold diggers. That's the, what the statement made by someone close to Virginia saying is saying. It's all the same. Blame the victim defense. That's what they've always been doing. That's the strategy of the farm. Blame the victim. I mean, they do it quite oftenly. I mean, look at what they did to Megan. After participating in a smear campaign against Megan for five years non-stop, five years non-stop, Megan being smeared every single day for five years, ever since her relationship to Prince Harry became public. Despite all that, the woman openly bullied and harassed on national TV. Yes, Megan, the one you see right in front of you, harassed by the so-called carnival of so-called experts, or better yet, as Prince Harry said, and called them pirates with press cards. Those people accused her of bullying. Blame the victim. That's a strategy used by the members of the farm, the royal family. And even now with Virginia, Prince Andrew is doing the exact same thing. A leopard does not shed its spots. And clearly, Prince Andrew is saying everything but I didn't meet Virginia. Everything. He's saying everything. He wants the case thrown out based on a technicality, a matter of jurisdiction, but not by saying, I never met her. Clearly, he told her lie in the BBC. Now, Virginia is suing Prince Andrew and alleges that she was sex trafficked to him by Epstein. Andrew strongly denies the allegation and has said he has no recollection of ever meeting Virginia despite the widely circulated photogram, photograph of him with his arm around her waist when she was just but a teenager. And this case in which Ghislaine Maxwell is, has been found guilty clearly spells doom for Prince Andrew and this cannot be good for Prince Andrew but it's hard to know what he takes on board and what he doesn't no sane person would have gone on television the way he did and just denied that photographic evidence and shown a total lack of remorse and despite the attempts by Andrew's camp to send business as usual signals there is no doubt that the shadow of Maxwell's overwhelming guilt will hang over Andrew's crunch court case next week, which will be hard next week, in which he will try to get the case, him being sued by Virginia, dismissed. And Andrew's lawyer, Andrew B. Brettler, has also filed a motion saying that her federal case against the prince should be halted because they argue she is domiciled in Australia. But sources in Virginia's camp have dismissed this as pretty desperate of Prince Andrew. Now, every single thing is becoming difficult for Prince Andrew. The doors are closing in. Most of his friends, Epstein, is no longer here. He committed suicide, allegedly. Gillian Maxwell has been found guilty, guilty and guilty by a court for sex trafficking and helping Epstein lure young girls. Prince Andrew, you may be the queen's son. The queen might either choose to pay Virginia compensation to protect her beloved son, Prince Andrew, or you may be found guilty of your crimes against Virginia by a federal court in the United States. I sincerely hope that they dismiss this motion by Prince Andrew's lawyers to dismiss this case 
based on matters of jurisdiction. These women were harmed by the likes, by the likes of Prince Andrew, Epstein, and Ghislaine Maxwell. And both their experiences should never ever be negated or dismissed. Now, my name is Brian and thank you so, so much for joining in on this podcast. With so much love from Success Squad Family TV, I wish you so much a prosperous new year. Give us your thoughts on Prince Andrew, or should I say Randy Andy? Because things are getting really, really tough for him on the streets. Stay tuned for our next video. Hello, Sussex Squad Family TV on YouTube. I hope you enjoyed our video podcast today. Kindly like, subscribe, and leave a comment below. Your support means the absolute world to us. Please like, like, and subscribe. Help us grow our family on YouTube. Stay tuned for our next video.